بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله أهل إيمان is tested with so many things like the various crises that we face now because of groups like ISIS groups like these modern day Khawarij who the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said are the dogs of the hellfire. Qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam al Khawarij Kilab al Nar. They're the dogs of the hellfire. So never hesitate about this issue of understanding who these groups are that continue, that continue and propagate brutality and have nothing to do with, with Islam. Wa iyadim Allah minhum wa fitnatihim. Ahabatif Allah. Understand Ahli Iman is tested with many things. We're tested by two in two ways that we, we are generally tested. Amma shubahat or amma shahwat. We're tested by our shubahat means the doubtful things. This could be an aqidah. So this could make our youth go join groups like Shabab and Boko Haram and uh, ISIL or Daesh, whatever you want to call them. Those people who are not grounded in Aqidah, not grounded in Tawheed, not grounded on the Sunnah, not grounded on the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah, not listening to the Ulama of Ahl Sunnah. So then they go away and they go astray and they follow this way, the way of the extremists, the way the people have gone beyond the bounds of Islam to implement what they, what is in accordance with their desires. That's the way of Shubahat, Ahabit of Allah. Avoid Ahl Shubahat. As the Prophet ﷺ said, اتقوا شبهات Stay away from the doubtful matters. The other way, Ahabat Allah, that the shaitan comes to us and the shaitan deceives us is through shahwat. It's through our desires. So a person can have correct aqidah in general, but then they're being attacked by their desires. For some people, it's the fitna of the women. For some men, it's the fitna of the women. The Prophet ﷺ said, the Prophet ﷺ said, Fear the women because the first fitna of the children of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the children of Israel was the women. That's a fitna for some of us. And for those women, it is men. That's the shahwat. So the shaitan will come to you from both, both ways. But some of us are stronger in other ways. Or the other way that is along that way of shahwat is through mal, through wealth. That a person will preoccupy themselves with just obtaining wealth, just grabbing wealth. How can I get rich? How can I get rich? At the expense of their dunya. And be forgotten, be a loser in this life as well as the after. Maybe they don't achieve the wealth in this dunya, nor do they achieve the wealth of the akhirah. Because they spent their life chasing haram, Meaning haram, they did it haram ways to try to get this wealth and then they lost in this life as well as the hereafter because they never even got the haram and then they lost in the hereafter. Wa'iyadun billah, may Allah protect us from that. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. So that is the fitna that this ummah is faced with. Loving the dunya. We all have to prepare ourselves for death. Do something good for your soul. Do something good for Islam. Do something good for humanity, and that is doing good for Islam. That's a part of da'wah. Involve yourself in khair, involve yourself in charity, and avoid those two fitnas. The fitna of the, sh the shibahat, doubtful issues, doubtful groups. You come to Islam and someone tells you, turn off the lights and say, Allahu a thousand times. Another person says, uh, yes, take this picture of the shaykh, He's going to bring you closer to Allah. That's the shubahat. Those are the doubtful things. Because you left disbelief to come to belief. And all of a sudden someone is saying you need an intermediary to come closer to Allah. No. Nah. That's not what Islam is. Islam is pure tawheed. And Allah doesn't forgive shirk. Doesn't forgive polytheism. You don't want to die upon that. Don't die except in a state of belief. Uh, uh, the Prophet ﷺ called us the Zabila Mu'mineen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah la yaghfiru, and you should be wa yaghfiru ma duni dhalik la man yasha. That verily Allah doesn't forgive that you commit shirk, polytheism with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So avoid shirk ahabatifillah. Use this creation to worship Allah. 
Use your time wisely. Don't waste time. Don't sleep your life away and be lazy. Don't involve yourself in doubtful issues. And don't involve yourself in shahwat and chasing your desires. Chasing zina and adultery and, and, and alcoholism and, and weed and cocaine and meth, meth and all the other ways that can leave, make you leave the sabil al mu'minin. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many shortcomings and guide us to be of those who practice what we preach and guide us and bless us to be, all of us to be better. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.